Hey, good morning, guys. Well, here doing a quick video update. Just wanted to talk about a couple of things. Uh, you guys have seen me on a quite a few uh, live chat shows here on YouTube, and that's going to continue. But I'm going to be limit limiting my exposure just a little bit. You'll still see me Wednesday nights on the Shooter's Mindset at 9 p.m. That's a given. On occasion, you'll see me on the Tag Daddy Live show. But what I won't be doing is participating in every discussion that's out there. I try and uh, police myself and uh, keep my opinion to myself whenever possible. Not because I'm scared to, to, to voice my opinion, but what I don't want to do is be lumped in with a bunch of people who don't research topics before they discuss them to the public. I tire of being a part of shows and being a part of discussions where people are full of opinions but have no facts to back those opinions up. Those folks who like to question facts that are presented only to be proven wrong and never to address it. Over the last few weeks, we've had a lot of live shows discuss what happened up in uh, Ohio in that Walmart. Last night, a lot of information was made public regarding the individuals who called in and the circumstances surrounding that shooting and also that uh, the other death that was involved in that situation. I'm going to read something that I posted on Facebook this morning. If you're a Facebook friend of mine and you've seen this and you've commented or liked it, it's going to seem a little redundant, but this is just me sharing how I feel about it. And I've had this bottled up for a couple of weeks. It seems as though the media isn't covering it too much because they're focused on a whole lot of nothing, a whole lot of this, and a whole lot of that. Uh, this is an open carry state. The victim was allegedly pointing a gun at folks in a crowded box store. There were only two calls to 911. Surveillance of this situation is not being released because they fear the backlash. Two people are dead, all caused by a liar and his lying wife. It could be race, it could be anti-gun, it could also be someone wanting five to 15 minutes of fame. But just like the criminal here in Florida a few weeks ago is being held responsible for the innocent bystander that was shot by police, this couple should be charged with murder. Period. No ifs, ands, buts about it. Walmart security didn't call the police. None of the other hundreds of patrons at that Walmart called the police. The arrival of police caused more of a stir than this man carrying this BB gun. The couple in question told 911 that he was pointing it at children and at other customers as well as they saw him loading the gun. Purely lies. It, it was a BB gun. What did they see him loading it with? Because I'm sure if they saw him loading it with the plastic BBs or metal BBs or any BB at all, they should be able to differentiate between bullets and BBs. I digress. Back to reading. When I first read the story from Ohio, I knew there was some, some foolery going on. Without any major details, I came up with a story that is now being told. The story that I came up with mirrors exactly what is now being told to the public. What we have here is an admitted liar. He, the, the, the gentleman that called 911 and his wife, this gentleman told reporters, told 911, told everyone, told the world that he's an ex-Marine. That is a lie. Enlisting in the Marines and not finishing your training does not make you a Marine. Not at all. So he lied there. He also told 911 that he saw the gentleman loading the firearm. A lie. So where are we going with this? We have a liar who's now changing his story. Everything's not adding up. Two people are dead. This young man who had a BB gun that Walmart was carrying, that he was carrying around the store in an open carry state. That is something that hasn't been talked about very much prior to this week. It is an open carry state. So even if he was carrying around a BB gun or a real firearm for that matter, unless he was really making threats and pointing those guns at someone, he's allowed to, if he's legally allowed to own firearms. We can go ahead and blame the BB gun, but Walmart has been carrying them for over a decade. And this is the first time something like this has ever happened. Are we going to blame the gun? Did the gun's agenda change? 
This is the first time this has happened, folks. This is just a reminder. Those guns have been on the shelves for years. I doubt they collectively decided that they were going to do something different and, and cause a stir. But because two people let their stupidity rule the day, we are now left with two victims here. Maybe even more because if you want to put the police officers as victims as well, because let's face it, they have to deal with knowing that they shot an innocent man who really didn't do anything outside of being black with a gun in a store in Ohio. Now, are we going to make this about race? I refuse to because I'm not going to play the game that the media plays. The media is trying to divide us so they can conquer us and control us. I don't play that game. This just may be a family who was looking for some fame or maybe they're anti-gun. Who knows? This is Ohio. I know a lot of people from Ohio. They're not genu genuinely or generally anti-gun, but you never know. This guy may have been a racist and just saw a black man with a gun and thought that black man shouldn't have a gun. Call the police. Maybe. I don't know him, but as far as I can tell, he's a lying piece of shit. Excuse my French. Well, this is Schwell, guys. I hope you guys are out there having fun, being safe, and also being responsible. I'm going to try and do update like this once a week, once a month. I'm not going to do it too much. But this was a subject that I felt strongly about, very passionate about, and uh, felt like I should address it on my channel. Take it or leave it. You know, uh, I'll hit you with the two fingers. Later.